When you're set up to polish your rock chips, this is also a great time to prepare your slides by frosting them. By frosting them, we're basically going to take a clean, uh, clear slide. We're just going to grind the surface down a little bit to give it a little bit of a frosting. There's a few reasons why we do this. The first reason is that it helps our rock chips adhere to the slide much better. So that's one good reason. The second reason we do it is that when we take this uh, thin section over to our grinding wheel and actually begin to grind our thin section down, ideally we want to have a nice parallel surface with the grinding wheel. So by frosting our slide, we're going to remove any irregularities and get this down to a nice even thickness that's parallel with our grinding wheel. And that's going to be important later when we're uh, grinding our rock chips down. Got your glass slides. I've got several here ready. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare these for all these sections that we're going to polish and eventually mount on these slides. You want to make sure you have your grinding wheel going. We've got a, a relatively coarse grid of 240 on here, so it's a good, good one to use. And you will just want to take your slide, make sure you're holding it firmly so it doesn't fly out of your hand when you press it onto the wheel, but just take a corner and just gently press it down onto the grinding wheel. As you do this, this will grind off the corner. And after just a few moments, you should have a nicely beveled off edge there on your slide, which you can use later to keep it oriented on the vacuum chuck, which we'll take over to the geoform next. Now that we've got our slides beveled off on the edges, we're ready to take them over to the grinding wheel and frost our slides. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to power up our equipment here, turn on our vacuum pump, and turn on the geoform. Go ahead and close our left side. We're not going to be using the cutoff saw for this process. We're going to leave this open for now and get our slide ready to mount onto the vacuum chuck. First thing I'm going to do is going to turn on some water and get my slide wet. This helps it stick to the vacuum chuck just a little bit better. I also want to take this moment to pay real close attention to how I orient my slide on the vacuum chuck with my uh, beveled off edge here. So it doesn't really matter how you set this on here. You just want to make sure that whatever position you stick your slide in, that's the position you're going to return to every single time. So with my slide now positioned here on the chuck, I'm going to hold it, turn on the vacuum pump, which should create a seal. I'm going to pay close attention to my pressure here to make sure that it doesn't drop. It does occasionally happen as you're uh, frosting slides or grinding samples. Water can get into the vacuum and occasionally cut it off. If that happens, you can lose that pressure on your slide and it can pop off. So you just want to pay attention to that throughout the process to make sure you're maintaining pressure at all times. But right now our slides are fixed quite nicely and we're ready to start the frosting process. So I'll go ahead and close this up, turn on the wheel, and at this point I'm going to use the little micrometer on the side here to adjust this bar closer and closer to the wheel. Right now it's set away from the wheel so I'm not in contact. And once I'm over the wheel, I'm going to start turning the uh, slide here and start moving the vacuum chuck closer and closer to the wheel. And basically at this point I'm just listening for that moment when the slide makes contact. Okay, when you get in there and you start to hear the grinding, you know you're touching your slide. So I'm going to slowly start moving it back and forth and make sure that I'm in contact with the entire slide across the entire wheel. I may need to adjust a little bit and move myself slightly closer. But once I feel I'm in good contact with my glass slide, I'm just going to very carefully grind it back and forth over the wheel. I also want to be careful not to be too exaggerated with my rocking motions. I want to mostly keep the slide on the wheel. I don't want to be popping off the grinding wheel and back on again. But once I feel I'm in good contact, I'm just going to continue this process until I've frosted the entire surface of the slide. And we will have to occasionally take it off the vacuum chuck to check that and see if indeed we've frosted the entire surface. Over time you'll find that you'll feel less and less resistance. And that's usually a good sign that you you're grinding off and flattening the edge of the slide and getting it frosted. Feels like it's probably about done. One of the things I'm going to do before I pull this thing off is I want to set my micrometer here and zero it out. 
basically this is my my zero point so I'm going to adjust this and make sure that this is now set to zero as long as nobody else comes along and changes these settings this is now going to be set for these frosted slides so that when I return to them later I can use this as a guide to determine how close I'm getting to my final thin section I'm going to go ahead and carefully move this away from the wheel turn off my saw go ahead and cut off the water I'm going to turn off the vacuum last because I want to make sure I've got a hold on this guy before I cut it off and once I turn the vacuum off I can pull this easily away from the vacuum chuck we'll go ahead and dry this off and see if we've got ourselves a frosted slide that's ready to be epoxy